All right, options, sound options, music volume, none. I don't want any music here. I can have that. That's an exception. But this is not. Because I'm curious of what it sounds like without music. Here we go. And I have failed to make this video multiple times. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. <laughs> and why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it is Hillier Central. So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Daxter sounds like, um, what's his name? Timon! He sounds like Timon. It's Timon and Pumbaa. Continue your search for artifacts and ego. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure doesn't look friendly. The sage yaps on about the precursor that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they go this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! <laughs> what in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around at the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you going to keep yapping? Are you going to help me out? I'm going to keep me up, but because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? The 
there's only one person who has studied Don Kiko long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the <laughs> heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But we're a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells. From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey ego stuff, will we? Because I hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! A lot of good platforming in this game, guys. If only a new beginning, Spire a new beginning had platforming, it would have been the best game. With, um, with a, uh, what was it called? Something that you lock onto to, um, to focus while attacking the enemies. Whatever it's called, I forgot what it's called. But if only it had those improvements and platforming, like a lot of it, and less linear, it would have been the best one. With the second one being a leveling up. And And maybe they could make, um, Gaul? No, not Gaul from Jack and Nessa. Gaul more sympathetic. That's my opinion. Jota! Yeah, I get that. Multiple islands when you go over this island here. 
But it's the least, this island is the least dangerous of all the other islands here. Just because it's more of a tutorial than it is an actual challenge. You still could potentially die though. And here's the map showing the islands. The island hit there is um significantly large. I wonder if I can zoom in. I know there's a way to do it. That's not how you do it. There was a way where you could have a zoom in on it. Okay, here it is. There is the bastardization of this island, which is much larger than the other one. And this one may be the smallest, but still. Like I said, this island is much larger than that one. Just by this analysis. Those, it shows you a lot of the island over the first part where you gotta go to. But it's difficult to see the rest. But you can't see it. You can tell they spent a lot of time making this entire landscape. how this works, which I've seen multiple times.
history, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And in no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in Champion Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Alrighty then. See you in the next part, guys. See you in the next part.